there, there, there you go. There's 40 years. Well, I think we've all enjoyed this afternoon and learned things about our post that we didn't know. And maybe we'll look at our postman in a different light and get a way down the Christmas box. Thank you very much. Tea, please. I'll walk on by then. Bloody hell, I'll come in more often. Me and her together. Right? <laughs> Sisters. <laughs> what did they used to call us? Funeral. Yeah, we, we were the creme groupies. Creme groupies. <laughs> no, I was sort of like the age of my mother. There's one of the ones there, and I used to go and they were building this new estate. Yes, we were at the foster in the late 70s, and we used to be really at the foster. And we'd cut across this country, and it was the last one of my three sisters. And I used to have the old cold fire. Honiton Memory Cafe, a friendly meeting place for people with dementia, memory problems and for their carers. Set up in 2010 by Heather Penwarden and Marion, or better known as Min Reynolds, with a small grant from the Devon County Council. The League of Friends of Honiton Hospital and the Honiton Town Council, now registered as a small charity. Members include Heather Chair. Pen Warden, Chairman, Sue Holland, Vice Chairman, Min Coordinator, Alf the Treasurer, and Diane Lovering the Secretary, and volunteers Liz, Val, Viv, Tony, Janet, Maggie, Meg, Dora, and Georgette. An active fund raising committee who run events during each year, such as quiz nights. Christmas market stalls, bingo sessions and walking treasure hunts around the town of Honiton. This enables us to take members to local pantomimes, theatres, trips out and for Christmas lunch. We have taken part in and won a bid for lottery funding working alongside Age UK Devon in the project called Healing Along Memory Lane. Themed trips in a 1950s bus to local venues or recalling past memories have been enjoyed also. Heather and Min were nominated by the People's Millions Lottery and Age UK to attend the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Golden Party on May the 22nd, 2012 a wonderful day for them to represent the Honiton Memory Cafe. The Memory Cafe has all sorts of speakers and entertainment. This includes a local postman, a Radio 2 folk singer, Jim Causley, a Honiton lace maker, a chiropodist, an art lecturer, 
Devon and Somerset Fire Rescue, Social Services are just to name but a few. Approximately 30 to 40 attend each session at the Honiton Memory Cafe which is held on the first and third Thursday of each month. And here's just a little article from the local Honiton paper, the Midweek Herald, showing Min on the right and Heather Penwarden on the left at Buckingham Palace at the Garden Tea Party. That's him. That's me. I don't know who that is. He rides down the street. I do. Crowing of the cock. Ah! When the morning's dawning, you'll hear the postman's knock. He's up with the dawn. <laughs> I'm not, the you know. Around the clock. <laughs> Morning, noon, and evening, you'll hear the postman's knock. Baby, you'll ah, bring it to Does he bring deliver to your door? Tell him you're never really certain just what he has in store. For words can be said, oh, yes. sweet as sugar plums. Open up the envelope and take it as it comes. That was production 40 Years of a Village Postman by Mike Spry at Honiton Memory Cafe, Devon, England. Scenes 1 to end and it was the first take on roll 1 on a Sony Handycam HDR CX190E in SDHC card format on the 21st of the 3rd 2013. Sound was in stereo, production company was ADR Films, director was Mike Spry, cameraman was ADR, that's Adam David Reynolds, with a song from Spike Milligan, The Postman's Knock. And that's a wrap. <laughs>